everyone, so today I'll be going over this great product here that I have for my dog. Um, finally an amazing chew toy from my monster. So this is this is the Kong. Um, it's called, uh, this is the this bone by Kong. It's called the Extreme Black Goody Bone Dog Toy. I know, it's a mouthful. Um, so what you want to basically do, <clears throat> if you have a big dog, um, I have a Doberman and he is a really, really big chewer. A lot of the smaller... Uh, toys, a lot of things that I have tried with him, chew toys, everything, even antlers, uh, usually don't stand up. So um, I always kind of trusted Kong to have really good chew toys. So this is the large size. Um, this is about four inches by eight and a half inches. So it's eight and a half inches long. Um, and it's great because this actually lasts quite a bit. This is actually my second one that I that I purchased uh, because my dog actually was able to chew through it. Um, but we'll get to that in just a little bit. So if you guys are familiar with Kong products, they're amazing. They have different types, um, different colors that mean a different um, different strengths. Uh, the black is pretty much their extreme. This is their top of the line product uh, it's made of a, of a really strong rubber I suppose um, not exactly sure about the actual uh, scientific name but it is amazing I love it. Um, it you can actually on in here it actually has like little grooves you can stuff these with to with the chew with chews or you know pretty much just food and what I personally do for my dog I actually put carrots in there um, because they're safe, uh, they're healthy for him, and uh, you know they're uh, they're good for him. It kind of keeps him distracted for about maybe a good five minutes. Uh, what's nice is that these grooves in here, they actually hold the product in really well. Um, don't have anything at the moment to demonstrate with, but um, you can actually feel if you go to the store, you can go to your local Petco, PetSmart, um, you can actually feel pretty much how, how strong uh, the inside is as well. The nice thing about it is that a little trick that I like to do is that um, I make sure that whatever I put in here, it's a little shorter than this. Um, so then that way I kind of just stuff it in there. And so when a dog tries to chew it, and they try to chew it, especially right here in the middle, even me as strong as I am, I still can't get it to budge. So they just chew and chew and chew on it. Um, one tip, if you do want, if you get some sort of stronger chew um, you, and you put it in there, it's gonna last a little bit longer. I notice with food, it actually tends to slide out because what my dog does, he's kind of smart. He actually stararts to lick this. So a lot of his saliva pushes the the, uh, the food out. So a lot of times he actually doesn't just make sure whatever you put in here, it's nice and small, um, a little harder chews. You can use dental chews. I think those are great because they're good for them as well. And it kind of uh, works their jaw bones as well. And it, you know, gives them something to do uh, because this is tough. This is some of the toughest products I've, I've seen on the market. And I've tested a lot of them. Um, I've always joked that my dog should be an official uh, an official tester because he runs through toys pretty often. We've run, we spend quite a lot of money on them. Uh, the nice thing about this is that it's not too terribly expensive um, and it will last uh, compared to what pretty much what you're getting, the quality out of it, it's great. Um, you're you're getting a really good product. It's the products that are made in the U.S., especially for dogs have to pass certain standards so you don't have to worry about your dog um, necessarily um, you know dying from foreign materials um, so just make sure to check that out kind of you know if you want to take care of your dog just make sure to uh, stay on top of recalls but so far as I know Kong hasn't had any recalls or anything that I've personally used so that's great um, because it you know you always want to feel safe about the kind of um, toys that you get your dog. Let me show you guys a little more about the durability here. I mean, um, you can tell what's nice about this is that it also it also has a uh, good stretch to it, a good bend to it. Because I notice a lot of times the toys that are to, uh, that are you know made for um, strong chewers, a lot of times they're too tough. So then the dog pretty much doesn't get any satisfaction out of biting it. Doesn't feel anything. Because I'm sure it probably feels good on their gums. Uh, picture like when, you know when you're chewing gum. That feels good you get that sensation that feels great well imagine you know if it was all of a sudden a bone that's you know hard bone that's not going to feel good so at least personally for my dog he likes it because he gets that feeling of chewing this over and over and over but at the same time this is incredibly tough and durable i mean see it stretch it moves along well 
So it moves along well, but it is also very, very strong. So you can even just do like this. You're not gonna see any rips and tears or anything into it, which is great. Um, just be very careful. I've hit myself with this several times. These ends do hurt, uh, if you notice. These ends do hurt, <laughs> trust me on that. Um, the only concern that I have, actually my only downside to this is sometimes if the dog is smart enough, they can actually put their teeth right here. And this is actually seems to be a weak point right in this region right here. And so um, just kind of be aware of that. If your dog does start doing that, take that away from them. Otherwise it's a great uh, toy for um, dogs that are extreme chewers. Thanks, have a good one.